Today I'm going to demonstrate for you what I call the 10 minute rule. Hey guys, I'm Kaylin, the author of The Parapus Bond. Get to know African Grey and Kate Perez. My new book, Feathered Splendor, Splendor and my coloring books, all available under KB Raphael on Amazon. My mission is to help you specifically today understand the 10 minute rule, increasing your blissful bond, hopefully reducing the need for rehoming, or uh, surrendering your parrot to a rescue. What is the 10 minute rule? Well, here's the thing. They say parrots are really intelligent, but my parrot acts like she's crazy about me. Like she missed me because I was gone for more than five seconds. And you know, that's because in the wild, parrots are always with each other. She loves me and she's crazy about me. She makes me feel so good. Like I'm so lovable, like I'm so awesome. That's the part where I question her intelligence. <laughs> I'm joking, but you can see she's going crazy. It's like she can't get enough. What is she doing now? This is the crazy first 10 minutes. No, they're not too bad, but that beak, do you see what that beak is doing? This, hey, you've bent my rings before. Don't bend my rings. Don't bend my rings. She's all beak. <laughs> that was the cat. She's, um. well, that broke the 10 minute rule. So, you know, it's like your parrot is so excited to see you because instead of seeing you 24 seven, you go and you have a life. Oh my goodness. And for that reason, they are so excited when they see us again, even if we've only been gone for like 10 minutes or overnight. And so if you can make it past the first 10 minutes, generally speaking, your parrot calms down. <laughs> if your cat howls, it breaks the 10 minute rule. Apparently it breaks it down to just a couple of minutes. So some of that um, beaking, you could tell she was excited. No blood, no cutting. She's not hurting me. Although it's not the same as being coddled with ice cream, clouds, something soft. It's still a beak. It still doesn't feel good. Look at that monster beak. That is a monster beak. Monster beak. So um, it's not comfortable. Now, if you have a smaller parrot, they still do the same thing. I feel like the 10 minute rule applies and their beak isn't so monstrous. Look at that monster beak, monster beak. But you know, the small beak, sometimes they're like little needles. So beak size doesn't matter. Sure, this beak size, can like break your bones if you're not careful, if you don't know the parrot, that kind of thing. But <laughs> you saw, oh, we're back on the 10 minutes. Although she's being a little more gentle now. What you doing? Look at that, she's trying to preen me. I mean, she's just like, oh my God, I haven't seen you. Oh my God, oh my God. So they just are excited. Have some patience. Try to understand that they adore you. So that's really sweet, that's really awesome. I know it hurts. I guess that's why they say love hurts with parrots. But bear in mind that the more time you spend with them, just having them in the same room with you, the less they're gonna be like that. And also bear in mind that in about 10 minutes, sometimes it's five, sometimes it's 15, but you know, about 10, they calm down and, oh, Rosie's calming down. The cat really, um, his weird howling broke her mode. So that was good for me. So I think she's starting, well, she's, she's beaking me a little bit. She's starting to just kind of mellow out. So you have a good example of the 10 minute rule in four minutes. All right, guys, I hope that helps you out with your uh, prehistoric monster, right? Your dino parrot. Um, <laughs> I support my birds by, no, don't, oh, don't stop. No, don't, don't eat my earring. Uh, and my videos, doing videos to hopefully help you out by having merch. I'm wearing some of my awesome merch that my daughter made. Um, please visit shop.parrotbliss.com for some awesome merch or head over to Amazon, KB Raphael, and get one of my books or a coloring book for your favorite young Picasso. Although I also have a couple adult coloring books. Thanks, and I'll catch you next time.